during the day, you can see the, the evening <laughs> star. That's so weird. It's funny. Hilarious. My sides are splitting. No, I'm being sick. Wait, that, that was you? Really? What, what, are you, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Sitting down. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out the Film Geek. Today I'm talking about the 2007 film Stardust. Stardust is the story of Tristan. Tristan is a young man who's grown up in this town in the countryside of England by the name of Wall. Now, Wall is kind of a unique town in the fact that, well, there's a wall running through it. And the other side of that wall is a magical world where fairies and witches and pirates exist. While Tristan is proposing his love to a local girl in town, they both witness a star falling from the sky. And this star lands in the world on the other side of the wall. That he's going to go to the other side of the wall, track down this star, and make an engagement ring out of it. This movie is based off of a Neil Gaiman book with the same name, Stardust. I have both read the book and really enjoy the movie. Some really great performances. The uh, chemistry between Charlie Cox and Clara Dane is just amazing. Clara Danes plays the star. Um, once the star lands in this magical world, it takes on a human form. And when this happens, this also gets the attention of a witch. Queen of Witches, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, sets out on a quest to find the star, cut out its heart, so then her and her sisters can have eternal youth. I really enjoy this movie on a lot of levels. It's a lot of fun, uh, the acting is great, the uh, chemistry between Clara Danes and Charlie Cox is really great. They also have a surprise performance from Robert De Niro. This movie came out in 2007 and it was fairly well received by critics and the few people who did see this movie really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, it did not do well at the box office. With a budget of $65 million and only grossing $35 million, the movie was a financial flop. Stardust isn't heavy-handed fantasy like you'll find in Lord of the Rings. This is a little bit more light-hearted and more of a fairy tale vibe. Stardust is currently streaming on Netflix, so if you had a Netflix subscription, go ahead and check it out. It's also for rent on all of your major rental streaming services, Voodoo, Prime, all of those good sources. It's not really a hard film to find, it's just never found an audience. Thanks again guys for checking out the Film Geek. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and you know what? Keep watching movies, folks, because you know I'm gonna.